Okay, are we glad to be back in the setup? Like, this just looks so much better than filming around my house. Like, we're back at the office, y'all. Um, I just was like, I couldn't take it no more. The clothes were already over here. We had to get up into it. But anywho, how rude of me. Hello, I am Daquana White. I bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content. And today I will be bringing you a video, okay, featuring she and denim so i have more pieces in denim i have like dresses sets tops and trousers but i really specifically wanted to try at least five to eight pair of their denim because if you don't know one thank you Shein, for sponsoring this try on haul and two she and actually extended to like a us 34 36 so with that being said, you will, I don't see like a section that you can click on for it, but if you type in Shein Fit Plus, I'll put it on the screen into the search bar, the whole Fit Plus collection will come up and that's where they expand to these sizes. You already know everything that I personally try on will be linked down below, but to get to the whole catalog, just type in Shein Fit Plus. And maybe they've updated it by now to the point where you can actually just go click on a tab, you know, like they have plus size, they have accessories. So maybe we can do it like that. But as far as I know, I have to type in Shein Fit Plus to get to these items. So um, I do have a coupon code with Shein, which is the Quanta Q2. All right, let's get into it because I'm too excited. I'm too excited. Housekeeping, your girl, she got her hair up in a, a lock bun, which is super cute. I did a tutorial over on TikTok. Um, location, we're back in the studio. We're back at the office, um, which we may still move. But I just had to come back. I told y'all I had to just be back in my creative space to do the content that I wanted to do, the quality that I wanted to put out. So we're here. Okay. Um, what, else? what else? What else? Also, one more thing. Somebody mentioned they can't stand the hanger being right there. Where do you want my hanger to go? It goes with the aesthetic. It's a neon sign. It comes off of the mirror. I mean... Baby, if I had it all the way up here, you wouldn't be able to see it. Then you'd be crying about that too. Anywho, enough of addressing the negativity. Let's go ahead and get into some positivity. Thank you guys so much. I have seen the views and things like that going up. I've also seen like the support over on TikTok as well. We hit like over 300,000 on TikTok recently. Um, Y'all have just been coming in clutch. I know the algorithm really does suck. Wong. I know exactly what I wanted to say. I'm sorry for going back to the negative real quick, but there was something that did irk me and that's because I changed my hair recently and I'll be changing it back. Um, I only took it out because I need a retwist and my hair needs to be flatter underneath. People say, I'm not really feeling the hair. Oh, you need to do this. You need, <laughs> Baby, if you don't know me, if you don't know the Quana, I came out here, okay, creative. I own a wig brand. I'm not gonna be and jet black hair 24 8 i'm not gonna be in wet and wavy deep curl whatever the case is i'm gonna change up my aesthetic as i please and it went with what i was going to do okay what i had did and what i had slayed that week all right and i will be changing it up again this week all right so anyways i just had to get that out the way because with positivity yes comes negativity and i get it i understand whatever but I just feel like, hold on to your negativity. Don't put it on to other people. We don't need it. But let's get into the haul. Let's get into the haul, for real. So, let's start with these accessories really quickly. And then we're going to get into the shorts. I just want to sit this down. But we have this neon purse, which is really, really cute. When it comes to accessories, because I am a distance away from the camera, I'll just go ahead and have a picture of it on the screen for the shoes and the purse. But yeah, this is really, really cute because I don't have a neon purse in my collection, like a neon green. So I was like, I thought it would be real cute. And this color blocking is actually really, really cute too. And then I just paired it with these shorts. Like, I don't probably will wear this outfit, but I don't know. So then we have these shoes, which are just like a platform mule. They are comfortable, but I'm not like... I'm clumsy when it comes to certain types of heels and when it comes to platforms I can be a little bit clumsy in them to the point where like my because I put my weight kind of like that I could easily go like that you know so yeah I just have to focus <laughs> on being straight up straight up okay but um I do think they're cute they're really comfy and I got them 
and orange as well you'll see that later but I paired it with this blazer here I like the blazer I feel like I just want it to be like a little thicker a little more structured I don't know I feel like it's just thin and I don't know I feel like it can be worked with I'll probably just throw it on the shoulders but it's nothing like you know call or write home about but it's cute it's lightweight so here we have a bandeau which is simple I just got it to try on some of the denim and bottoms with um so yeah I just got this I have so many bandeaus but this one is um supposed to be like plus size I think I got a 24 26 I could have sized down because it's a lot of room in it but I don't hate that about it I actually really really like that so yeah and then let's get into the shorts because that's why we are here okay um these are cute i think they're a uh, us 28 so i got them in a 28 typically from like the companies out here that's catered to plus size i would wear a 22 or 24 in the denim um some uh what do you call it junior plus size places i can get away sometimes with their 3x's and 22's but i would say firmly i feel most comfortable in a 24 so i did size up two times for shein's because i did try their 26 jeans or pants last time i did a shein haul and i just wished i had a little more wiggle room so i did decide to go ahead and get a 28 which i'm glad i did because these they look good y'all i was really shocked i was shook if there's not a lot of stretch in the jeans so keep that in mind like these are true they feel like true denim okay so with that being said could i have sized down i think so and i'll show you why and that's because back here it's like a lot of room in the waist but i do feel like at that point they would have truly been coochie cutters and i wasn't really going for a coochie cutter look i wanted something that i could actually wear and feel comfortable in and i do feel like these are comfortable and they look really good on i feel like i can sit down eat a meal not gonna bust through them so yeah i do love these and if i would have sized down they would have been like all the way up there all up in the cracks tight on the stomach like that like i didn't want that but let's go ahead and hop into some more all right Bye. so is she in not coming through is she in not coming through hold on because it might be sheen look i call it she in but is she and not coming through? I love these shorts. They look stunning on. The length is really, really nice. They're extremely comfortable. And I got them in two sizes and I'll show y'all. So when I first got them in this size, this is a 28. And look at it. All right, you do the wrap around the neck trick. See if it'll fit you. All right. Um, and I already knew these would fit. So one thing I will say is the distress in here is cute, but it doesn't really show too much thigh meat. So what I might do is like every other distress line, I might just cut it out completely so you can actually see some skin. But but that's besides the point. Sorry, somebody call me my bestie. But um, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. So like I said, I took these out the box. And I was like, okay, wait, I think I can size down. So I did that for two pairs of bottoms that I will show you for a pair of jeans and these pair of shorts. And I was right. I could size down in them. And I just wanted to show y'all if you had to size up once or twice in them. Then you have, that ain't curtains. Then you have the back. And I like the length they come to. They're shorts. I expect them to be short. So, um, yeah, I don't <laughs> have anything else I can say about that. All right, guys, so here we have this like overall trouser, which is the bomb.com. I actually got it in a 28, but I could have definitely got a 24 or a 26. Um, and these, I think even a 22 may have fit, like it would have probably just been a little more snug. So I like the idea of having more room to play around with, more room to layer some leggings underneath if I want to. Definitely feel like this is good for the fall because of the color. I just like the fit, the flare, the length. I, know, I just really like it. <laughs> but um, everything just seems to look really, really good. 5'4", um, by the way, my measurements, everything is listed on my website. Linked in the description always. So, yeah. But I do love this, like, trouser overall get up. This is how the back is looking. I am kind of glad that I did get it in a 28 because I like the loose. I like the amount of material. I do feel like these are a little too long for me. And there's no way for me to 
adjust them so i wish they would have just put more like loops here to make it a little shorter if i needed to um but i could just do that myself and diy it but um yeah one thing i will say is it doesn't feel centered so the center seam is like where is it it's like right here <laughs> so yeah it kind of pulls one of them over a little bit all right so here we have these trousers which i feel like okay you know it's, it's okay we could do a little a little pose in it right but i don't feel like it's functional for me as like an outfit type of item it just feels more so like swimwear cover up mixed with pjs mixed with costume i don't know um like i said a cute like a bomb two piece underneath or one piece underneath would be really really cute but like the whole all of that being out um i don't know might be getting wedgie vibes so that's how it looks back there so yeah <laughs> um that is this trouser here um it is connected like at the ankle so it will keep like the not necessarily a harem effect but it doesn't just flow in the wind and be all super duper open. You'll just get like a little wind like that, you know, if you're walking on a strip. But I think it's an interesting piece. <laughs> it's definitely one of the more interesting pieces that I've tried on with the faux pom-poms here. Wondering how you would clean this without them things popping off. But that is this piece. Um, all right so here we have this two-piece set i got it in a 26 basically the theme of this haul is <laughs> i could have sized down the theme of the last haul was i could have sized up we gonna get it together with the shein fit plus collection okay um this actually is really really cute at the current size i got it in a 26 i could have got a 24 i do feel like the shorts would have been a little shorter if i would have got a 24 so i'm okay with this one here does have a lot of stretch it's like a thick crepey material i always tell you guys about it um but it does have stretch does have like this oversized top that you just throw on no buttons just a lapel i do feel like if you wanted to you can like do a situation where you take the belt out of the shorts and put it on the top and do like no top underneath and just you know wear it a little edgy but i do feel like i could wear this coming into the office a really cute outfit and right after maybe go to lunch or something chill out but yeah it's really comfortable oh this is the length of the shorts in the back one thing about filming like all of my content at once so i'm doing the youtube haul then over here i'm doing like the thumbnail pictures and instagram pictures and then over there i'm doing like the tiktok and the ig reel so it's like boom 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 coming boom 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 you know so i sometimes forget to film a certain portion and be like okay wait i'm gonna take this outfit off but anywho let's get into this hair because i actually really love this now one thing i will i'm gonna start with the pants um they are really really cute but these are a 30. these are considered a 30 and they're still like snug you know i have room to pull them up and all that good stuff but i definitely feel like these are not a us 30. i have a little room in the waist in the stomach area um but no if i would have got like a 24 26 in this I feel like the thighs would have been looking crazy. So, uh uh. The length is okay with me. I'm 5'4 again. It is like on the model, they didn't hit the ankles or anything. So, it wasn't deceiving <laughs> in that portion. But, um, I see these as a perfect, like, over the knee boot jean because I don't like baggy ankle jeans and my over the knee boots because it makes them fit weird. So I like that they're straight leg. I did a small cuff at the bottom and I like that they come up a little bit high. This is what the booty is looking like in these jeans. Okay, not bad. I just don't feel like they're 30. So this top is just like what's trendy right now. It's like a graphic tee, oversized. I'm definitely gonna keep this around. I think I wanna do like a whole oversized look or like some camo pants and my orange, um, what do you call them orange booties but yeah y'all this top is cute i'm thinking like maybe i wanted it shorter 
but I feel like I don't need too many crop tops like I need some full length tops and I actually really like this without a bra so definitely gonna keep her around and I'm not gonna cut her cropped I think she's cute the way she is a lot of the girls been doing the like DIY graphic tees so I guess that's what this is a play on stop because this outfit is giving I love it without a bra I don't feel like it's gonna be any type of slips it's so freaking cute but let's get into the jeans first okay by the way with this I'll probably do a pop color shoe and purse just to bring out some of the colors in this graphic top all right but let's get into the pants these jeans are also sized up to a 30 I would recommend sizing up maybe once or twice from your original size but don't size up three times like I did because I feel like they might do like a little bit of falling down and they definitely gap in the back and they are a little loose like in the waist not uncomfortably loose but you might just be tugging at them unless you wear a belt just keep that in mind I like the distress in. I don't know if it's supposed to mimic paint splatter or bleach but I think it's really really cute then with the top this top is so cute it's really cute it's like blues and oranges and yellows and purples um it's actually a little more oversized i had it tucked into my roll but it's like this it's from the shein curve collection so not the fit plus it's from the curve where's the lighting going okay <laughs> but anywho um this is a 4x from shein curve so i did find this in a different section but it's still so freaking cute love the chains of course i would do silver jewelry just to tie it all together but i love this and honestly i probably would have sized down in this top just to make it a little tighter but i still think it's cute i could just put a knot in the back or tuck it into my roll like i had it but here we have the back of the pants like i said it's a slight gapping um and i feel like it's a fall down because it is too big or because they are too big and i would just wear a belt um maybe if i was to wear these so yeah that okay so same top different trouser love these pants i think they're super sexy for a date night or a night out the strappies just give me that vibe okay love the black could definitely get your true size in the pants they're just like a really well not really thick but a thick stretch pan i could have got my regular size i did get a 26 in them but they're so so cute so so comfortable and you can control like the lacing at the bottom make it wider or more narrow just tailor it to your leg and wrap the rest of the material around your ankle which i didn't do here I just put on the orange version of that pink shoe. I wouldn't wear these shoes with this top. I just don't see it because it's not like the orange in here is not as vibrant as the shoe. So it's not doing it for me. But I just wanted to show y'all the shoe. Okay. And then this is how the neck is looking. All right. <laughs> so here we have this dress, which is super cute. So I didn't know what it was going to give when I pulled it out. I wasn't impressed, but when I put it on, I was. I sized down to a 22 in this dress. Typically, what's crazy is like my true size, I would say 22, 24. But when it comes to Shein, I always size up. So when I'm saying I'm sizing down, that just means I typically get a 24 from the Shein Fit Plus collection that just launched. So it's not typically, but just launched, okay? But before, I was only trying the 4Xs and 20s from Shein. So let's just say from my true size... I sized down to a 22 to this dress from Shein Fit Plus and it actually worked out in my favor because it gave the effect I wanted it to give. I wanted it to be super uber fitted. Um, it gets a little loose after the thighs but that's okay with me. Cute little size slits okay and then it's still not sheer in the back so that's what I was happy about because I didn't want it to be sheer and also the straps are adjustable so we love that for us i adjusted it a little bit but yeah i actually really like this dress here we have this outfit let's go from toe to head okay so these shoes are actually just like a pointed toe clear shoe you probably didn't even notice them i like them because they do have a snipped out point so it's like a breathable hole they didn't have breathable holes on the side as well but they're not noticeable to the naked eye you have to look closely one thing i will say is if you just did a fresh pedicure and it's not cured under the gel lamp the paint might rub off on the plastic because your toes rub against it i like these because most of my pants and stuff are too long so instead of me wearing a heel 
um, and because you know I wouldn't have to <laughs> that mean I can just wear these because it'll look like I'm wearing a fancy shoe but I'm really not so I like that but anywho here we have these pants which I don't know why for some reason I thought they were longer so I'm not impressed <laughs> like I don't think they'll be cute unless I wear like an over the knee boot they are shimmer zebra glitter <laughs> sheer pants but I just didn't want them like all the way up there you know so yeah that's these and I do have a black brief underneath because they're completely sheer this top I actually got in a two pack so I got sage and black and it's just a simple top it has like a little bit of cuffage for the boobies no padding just like uh, you know like a little cuff cuff around the boob and then these hooks are all functional so it's a cute top I like the angle that it comes to I wouldn't say it's nothing too special it's just simple and sometimes simple is really really good uh, with the pants I feel like they come low here so yeah this is what they look like okay so this is what I mean when I can say I look like I tried harder than I actually did simple black top a nice black trouser and then I have on that clear pointed toe flat so it looks like I really tried so because these pants like are just kissing the ground for me again I'm 5'4 um, I could definitely wear a flat but this pointed toe clear flat looks like I tried okay a nice clear or black purse some jewelry and I'm good to go all right I look like a million bucks and didn't even try but no um here we have this trouser and it is like the plissé plizzy you know I know everybody we all got our terms rouged rouged all that but anywho um plizzy has like a nice shine to it plissé and I think I sized up once or twice in these I want to say two times and I'm glad I did because the actual material is a little bit thin so I would definitely do a black brief legging or short underneath but yeah nonetheless i love these they're comfortable they're cute and i feel like they're elegant so this is what the back is looking like again sheer so i'll put something underneath all right so we're back into some denim and here we have this brown denim short which is cute it's kind of like a flare leg a little bit like a wide leg i think it's cute though i sized up two times so 28 in these and i'm glad i did because they don't have stretch like much stretch at all they're kind of just like just fitting but not in a bad way it's just like a girl if you would have sized down you wouldn't have been able to button me okay so yeah some more firm probably like 80 90 percent cotton in it um so yeah be mindful of that with these i will say i do like the back pocket detail just looks like that but there is a little gap in okay so here we have another pair like i said i did a couple so that um in different sizes so i can show you guys and give you my true thoughts so here we have these which they're cute they have a nice fit to them they directly like they hit right at my ankle I would like them personally a little bit longer but that's just me other than that like they're a perfect pant like I can't complain about nothing in the tummy area the booty area the thigh area nothing okay I would just say it's the length for me so yeah um I don't know how I feel about it maybe cuff them or something they do a slight dip in the back but I would just change my panties so yeah um, I have them 26 on, so I size up one time with them on, and then I size up three times here. So this is the 30, and I'm going to see. Okay, so I do have one more denim piece, but first, this skort. This skort is giving. So I want to say they had another color. I'm almost certain that they did. I love anything with a short built-in, so I don't have to worry about a skirt being too short love this slit it's giving like tennis vibes i don't know really cute i could see a platform over the knee boot i could see a lot of shoes with this like tone it down or overdo it tights underneath you can do a lot um it's a skirt, so shorts right definitely gonna be short in the back this is how all right so we have this trouser best for last i love them i just feel like when it comes to brown pants leather suede whatever i just love them so much 
I love them. So these are actually the same material as like the brown shorts. I did size up, I think, to 28 or 30. I want to say to 30 here. So I size up three times and they fit exactly how I wanted them to fit. I will say in the back though, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I love these. I could wear them with that pointed toe clear shoe, a nice bodysuit, turtleneck, blouse. Like they look so, so good. They look perfect. Um like i said barely any stretch it's like a um not 100 percent cotton but it's like a really hot amount of cotton in these so yeah keep that in mind i would recommend sizing up two to three times and here it is in the back so you get a little dip right but then i feel like i would just wear a belt so that i don't have to worry about the gap in. okay the lighting wanted to do whatever it wanted to do but anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this sheet and denim try on haul let me know your thoughts down below let me know which pair is definitely more your vibe i would say me personally i like the pair the first pair of denim shorts the brown shorts were cute also that uh skinny jean that didn't come all the way down to the ankle i thought it was cute because it fit like the best in my opinion outside of these which are my first favorite love that black pair definitely gonna keep that but this was a really nice range of things from the shein fit plus collection the first time i tried i wasn't really sure how to go about the sizing but now i think i've definitely got it down packed so my next haul should be like perfect i shouldn't have to size up or down for anything so yeah again that coupon code is the quantic q2 the links are down below in the description let me know your thoughts i'm super duper excited about this haul and i cannot wait to get home and edit it and get it out to you guys